This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make a Link to a Specific Place in a WordPress Page or Post. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Uh, here's the Business Blogging 101 website that we use for these tutorials. And I've created an example page and some links here. I'll blow this up a bit. Uh, let's say go to part one, go to part two, go to part three, and here below on the page are part one and part two and part three somewhere uh, right there. Okay, so let's try these out. Clicking on go to part one, part one snaps to the top of the browser window and the same is true for part two. I'm going to go back to top here. And part three. Okay. I've included back to top links. Um, the previous tutorial shows you how to make those. There's another way to do this. If you're coming from a different page, you can also go to that same page, the example page in this case, uh, and go to the separate sections on that page. So if I click, say, on Go to Example Page Part 3 here, okay, we snap to Part 3 on the Example Page. Okay, um, let's go ahead and see how this is done. First I'll show you what it looks like. In the HTML on the example page. Okay, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Wow, that's quite a lot. Maybe too much. Okay, if we look at the code, there are two parts to this kind of a link. The first is to give the location on the page a name. I'm going to delete this part. Okay. You'll notice if you try this that WordPress inserts a little more code than you actually need. So don't worry about that. Here's the code and how it looks. Okay. Quick lesson in HTML. Uh, here is part three written with HTML tags on either side. Okay, This would make this part three text bold. The same is true here with a strong tag on either side. The closing tag has this forward slash. And that would also make this part three text bold. Okay, In this case, what we want to do is insert a name for the location and you can call this anything you want. Here I'm calling it three. Okay. So there's the code that we need to insert. As you can see here. And that is how it looks on the page. This one is for part one and so it's named just one. Okay. The ones below that are named two and three. Okay. The second part, creating the link itself, if you're on the same page, it looks like this. Okay, if you can see, I've created this. Okay, go to part three. That's the text of the link. And then you need this piece, A, and then href equals, quote, pound sign, and then the name. Okay, in this case, three. And on the other side, the closing tag, the A with the forward slash. Okay, uh, let me show you how this uh, is done, inserted into the page. So we'll go back out. And we'll go to example page. This is the example to do page. You can see here, separate page. So in the code for part three, 
Let me scroll down here and find that. There's part three. We're going to insert the name, okay, which is this piece. Oops, sorry, this piece, not that one. Okay, so let's go put this in. Name equals three. Okay, close that and then the forward slash A to close the tag like so. This anchor tag, this is where any kind of uh, text would go. We don't need anything in there. We can just leave that empty. So you just have the tag, the name, in this case three, and then the closing tag and nothing inside between the two. Okay, so we're done with that part. And then we want to insert up top a link to that spot. Okay, and that looks like this. Um, this one here. Okay. With the pound sign and the href in the anchor tag. So let's try that. Pound sign three in the quote go to part three and close it. Okay, so you saw how that looks. We're all good to go now. Just doing the part three link for our example. Okay, if I go back here and we go to the example to do page. There's our link. It says go to part three. Click on that and it takes us right down to part three. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go very fast to the contact us page and we'll insert our link from there to our example to do page. I'm running out of time. Okay, here's contact us. Turn, go to example to do page part three. Okay, now this one's easier to do. You don't have to use the code window. I'm going to go back and get the address of our page, the example to do page, okay, up here. And it looks like that. And I'm going to go back to our dashboard. I'm going to, whoops. Okay, I'm going to highlight this text. Click on the link, insert link button. Paste in the name of the page, which is the example to do page, with the full URL, okay, starting with HTTP. And then at the end of that, I'm just going to add the pound sign and three, the word three, which is the name of the tag. Okay, insert, save. Let's see if this works. Contact us page. Here's our link. Go to example to do page part three. Click on there. And there we are, part three of the example to do page.